Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to the official launch of my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to take on this fun and creative way to enjoy doing my makeup. For October, I'm going to do a Halloween makeover. So if you want to get updates when I upload, please click the subscribe button below. Now, let's get started. For our palette, we're going to use Juvia's Place Masquerade. The colors I'm going to use are Bori and Giza. I'm not doing a traditional... Uh, transition here because the look that I want kind of calls for more of a monochromatic look on both I particularly love pink I don't really shy away from wearing vivid colors I actually really love it and this one is just way too pretty now what I want to remind you is that I'm not an MUA I'm just someone who enjoys doing makeup and doing it for years so this is me just having fun with this now I'll continue doing voiceovers until November if this is successful enough. Who knows where I make those. And as you see I'm putting on a little more of this pink. I want to really kind of pack this in. I love the way it looks against my skin. Now I usually do a transition at this point but right now I kind of want to just put this on the eyebrows it's not really a traditional transition because there's a method to the madness <laughs> with this particular look and I'm gonna go in and blend this out again with my Morphe 330 brush yeah I took Alyssa Ashley's boot camp thank you hunty you are a lifesaver and again, I'm grinding in more of the pink because there's a method to the madness here. Not that standing, it's really, really pretty. And the fallout doesn't really bother. So we're going to just put more shadow on this eye. We did a lot of shadow on this particular eye. Actually, I did a lot on both of them. Now I'm going to go into the inner crease area, kind of outline that a bit. Again, being a hoodie, I'm careful of how I blend shadow on my eyelid versus uh, just above it because it, there will be a transference issue. And now I'm going to fluff that out just a little bit, kind of blend it in together, but not really because that's not what I'm looking for here. Now what I'm putting on my lower lid is a eyeshadow primer from the crayon case. It's their washable eye glue stick. Because what I'm going to put on the lower lid is I'm going to use Too Faced Gold. Uh, actually, they're chocolate gold in the color of Rich Girl. If you haven't bought this palette, man, this palette is just incredible. Okay, so I'm kind of this look. Looks nice the way I want it. And now we're going to switch to the other eye. And on this one, we are going to go with the blue shadow. So you can pretty much figure out which cartoon character I'm doing here today. This blue is not particularly dark, but it's not particularly light. It's just perfect the way I want it, especially for this look. Yeah, I got a little transference in the corner, but I can fix that later. Again, for this look, it's not a deal breaker. And I'm going to just blend it out. Not trying to make a seamless transition. It's okay for what I want. It could be worse. You never know. <laughs> I 
is what it is. And I'm going to repeat the same process as I did with the other eye using the crayon case eyeshadow primer as well as the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Rich Girl. I really love the way that palette smells. Now notice, again, being a hoodie, I have to use my lower lid for this because there would be a whole lot of transference if I went higher than that. So this is actually a pretty good look. Here's something I want. I have a bump on my nose. It's hereditary. Got it from my mom. I also had an injury to the corner of my left eye, which kind of, uh, Maybe one day I'll tell you that story. It's called Ghetto Kids Who Do Stupid Stuff and Live the Tale of Tale. But anyway, because of that injury, I kind of have a little pocket right there and it's very noticeable. I try to find ways to disguise it, but most of the times I can't. Well, it's not like I'm going to walk around with a patch over my eye, so I just learned to deal with it. Now what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do a little highlighting. Now because of the bump on my nose, I have to find a creative way to contour because traditional contouring is not going to work for me. No matter what I do, no matter how hard I try, no matter how much I chant the corners, it's just simply not going to work for me. So I have to find a way to do that. And I also don't sculpt on my cheeks because being a fluffy diva, that just makes my face look wider. So I'm going to kind of blend this out a little. And this is where I have to be creative about blending and creating a faux contour. Because of the bump on my nose, there's nothing I can do about that. It's just not going to write. So I kind of cheated when I'm doing the highlighting. not 100% but it gets the job done and now the trend powder the setting powder that I'm going to use is Too Faced Born This Way it is in the color of translucent medium and I just love the satiny feel of this I did have a problem with it however and I will discuss that after the Halloween makeovers again I want to emphasize that I'm not in any way and I'm just doing this because I really enjoy doing makeup. It's my passions in life. Do it with passion and vigor. I'm going to sweep some of the eyeshadow underneath my eye. It took me a while to figure out how to do this without creating a big clump of dirt in my eye. And that way my eye all day long. But this particular brush is really angled for that. And one of the things you're also going to notice about me, I am a naturalista. That means I have no chemicals in my hair. And don't get me wrong, I don't knock anyone. I don't knock anyone who uses a weave. It's not what's on your head, it's what's in it. Now, some of these makeovers that I'm going to do will involve wigs. Some of them won't. Some will be my natural hair. And I'm pretty fine with that. I'm going to drag some of the pink down into the hollow on the side of my face. And as you see, I've done that for the blue side as well. And I'll do a little more color down in the corners. I'm going to blend it out a little bit. Ooh, I just had a real interesting idea for that blue shadow and that white lid. Gonna have to get that some thought. That's pretty. I'm going to line the upper lid with the Maybelline gel liner. It's one of my 
my standard go-to's here's a couple of different ones and let me just say people who don't mind the raccoon <laughs> but in this case I'm not gonna go with that there are a couple of looks that I'm gonna do that requires that but not for this one to use Kat Von D's tattoo liner in the color black. I find it works really well on the top of my eye, especially if I want to do a cat eye. Now I don't do very many cat eyes because of the way my eye is shaped. They sometimes they work well, sometimes they don't. They tend to be hit and miss at times. But I try so hard. Next tutorial I'm taking, I'm taking it on doing cat eye. Now I know you can't see it in the image, but I am actually wearing a t-shirt with cosplay artist Talene Kell on it. They are being sold on Teespring. I will list the link below. Phenomenal. Now I'm going to use Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I don't know about better than sex, but it's better than a lot of stuff. I just bump under my lower lashes. I used to struggle with those as well, but I've gotten a lot better with them. Now I'm going to brush all that cakey powder off my face. It sure is a lot. So I'm going to buff out that pink color and the blue on the other side because I kind of want them to be down a little bit. So what I'm going to use now is a bronzer by Becca in the color of Maui Nights. I'm kind of married to this one. I try other bronzers but it really works best for me. And now this is Sephora's blush that I'm going to put on my cheeks. I don't usually use a lot of blush. My day look doesn't call for it. I'm gonna work it off for Christ's sake. Now I'm going to put on a little highlight. I think this is Sephora's highlight. It came in that same um, package with the blush. Put a little bit too much. to blend that out just a little bit more. It's not blended as well as I would like. Okay, this is looking kind of tasty. Sort of. And I'm going to use highlighter on my my brow. Not a lot. I had a different plan with this particular look, but I decided to take it in another direction. I'm also going to use that Sephora to get the corners of my tear ducts. I'm also going to use it kind of heavily. And just a little on my nose. Again, I have to be very careful with how I put products on my nose. Thanks, Mom. get my cupid's bow. I have bow shaped lips so that looks hot. And that's what a Sephora lip liner. This is the color black. I normally don't line my lips with black unless I'm doing an ombre. So I'm kind of going to do a faux ombre here although it's I'm going to really paint that in. And now the lipstick I'm using, I just love this. This is ColourPop's 
Lux matte lipstick in the color of Strike. You see it's not really an ombre. I'm going to kind of blend that in a little bit more. And on top of it, I'm going to put this little red shimmer that I found somewhere. I don't know. I think I got all of those little beauty supplies before I stopped going to them. So, I think I'm going to put a little more highlight on my lip. This can't have too much highlighting. You actually can, but I want a little bit more here. So this is the final makeup portion of this. Yes, no, maybe. I'm gonna go. And here comes the final look. Yeah, Harley Quinn is hot. Fluffy Diva's doing good. Oh my god. I'm really liking this look. I'm really happy. It took me a while to find the Daddy's Little Monster shirt, but I'm good to go. I hope you really enjoyed this. I had so much fun. And I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Hope to put out a twice a week for now. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, just drink that in. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. And again, click the like button and click the subscribe button to see more content. Bye-bye.